Yo, what's up everybody, Fortnitron here. And today we are back again with our Dark Souls 3 Easy Mode Beginner's Guide. In the previous episode, we went through Dark Eater Madeir, which is one of the hardest dragon bosses in all of Dark Souls. I think it is the hardest dragon boss in all of Dark Souls. And then we also got through the NPC Invader boss, which is Half-Light of the Church. Complete BS, uh, but we cheesed our way through that. And now we're ready to take on the final boss of the Ring City DLC. Let's get into it. Okay. So while we're on our way there, we are going to warp to the Church of Filinor. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a lore dump here. So remember in the Ashes of Ariandel, our whole point of going there was to get rid of Sister Freed and Father Ariandel so that painted world could start to burn. So, cause it's rotting away. They wanted to keep it going as long as they can, just like mimicking this world where they wanna keep it going as long as they can with the Age of Fire and everything starting to fade away. They wanna burn that world down and then start a new painting that will last forever and that won't ever rot. Uh, so that's why we went there. And to do that, they needed the pigment of the Dark Soul. And that's why we came to the Ring City, because that's where the Dark Soul is. Um, and on our way here, we saw little glimpses of Gale, because Gale came here first. While we went to Ariendel, he went to the Ring City. So that's why he was leaving us those messages. So he's been here this entire time. And... The whole point of the Ring City was to protect the 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 pygmy or like the first descendant of man who found the Dark Soul. And it was to keep them locked here. It's kind of like a prison. And that's why Dark Eater Madeir was here was to eat all of the abyss and absorb the abyss and then keep this place kind of like pristine how it is. But it's it's a facade like this whole place is a prison, basically, just to protect the Dark Soul. So, now that we're here, we are going to see one of Gwyn's children, which is uh, Princess Filinor, and that's her right there. And she's protecting kind of like the facade that is the Ring City, and we are about to interact with that right now. You just walk up to her, kind of admire her for a second here. So remember Gwendolyn and... Um, and like Anor Londor, old Chesty, this is the last child. So this is uh, Princess Filinor. We're going to touch the Embrace shell. So pretty crazy. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, what? What the fuck happened? So there's two theories. So theory one is that Filinor uh, awoke because we broke the shell. And because she awoke, she's kind of like out of her spell and she flashes us forward to the future to the end of time and that's why everything is just like a desert now other people say that this whole thing was just like a veil and it was a facade and then we broke the spell and this is what it was like the entire time i think we go to the future for a reason um but i would save scum right here Okay, I thought that uh, quitting right there and save scumming would put us right outside the boss arena, but it doesn't. Um, okay, so this boss, very tanky. Don't get greedy, get like two hits, be ready to roll. Um, it's just patience, so just don't be greedy. We can try to get it poisoned for the first half of the fight. Uh, and let's try our best to not get hit. And I know that's shitty advice, like, yeah, just don't get hit. But um, it's a really cool plot twist to find out like, oh, who's been here this entire time trying to get the Dark Soul? So let's, let's do this. Great cinematic. I just love how he's just like, he's like, what? You're still here? All right, give me that fucking Dark Soul that you have. Oh, I rolled right into that. Hey, give me an opening so I can fucking get a heal off. There we go. Okay, get your distance.
Okay, great phase one. Okay, awesome cutscene. All right, let's fucking rock. You still got the the poison. You gotta watch out. His tail has um, a hitbox. I love that input reading. I got greedy there. Okay. Where the skulls landed, there will also be lightning strikes. I forgot he does like, uh... Oh, yeah, you want to watch out for that. If you try to get your distance, he'll do that. Fuck, dude. I was like, we're doing pretty good. See what I mean by it's like, it's a lot of patience. Get a pine rest off. I thought we had that. Let's just fucking dunk right in his face. And he's done. Nice. You just took on the hardest boss in all of gaming before millennia. I keep saying that through all the games, but Gale really is a struggle for a lot of people. Okay. Yeah, that uh, the poison proc really does work for us. And with that, we got um, the Dark Soul. Blood of the Dark Soul right there. All right, let's light that bitch up. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. All right, his soul actually gives us some cool stuff. You can get that, um, you can get that crossbow that he has, or his like busted up blade. Super rad, but we're not gonna be using that. All right, let's level up. Let's, uh... I'm putting more points into strength because I just want our physical resistance to be high. Oh, we need a, just a little bit more. Maybe there's something we can sell. Let's sell... Oh, we got 10 of these, dude. Ashen one. And there we go. Boom. Let's give her the eyes of the firekeeper. And you can give the firekeeper soul. Okay, and then let's top up. Ashen one. 
Okay, we can take on the final boss of the game now, uh, but we're gonna drop by. We're gonna go back to Ariandel Chapel. And we're gonna go up the ladder. And we're gonna go over here and give her the Pikmin of the Dark Soul. My thanks, Ashen One. With this, please, I would. You can say share your name, or I usually just pick I have no name. I see. Then I will name this painting Ash. It will be a cold, dark, and very gentle place. And one day, it will make someone a goodly hope. That's technically the end of all the DLCs. So a lot of people were a little bit disappointed because there wasn't like a finale uh, cutscene or anything. It's just that. Um, but I think it's a great ending. Like it was just a really cool climax. And what I loved is that so many people speculated so many different things. Like we were gonna, I don't know. There's so many wild stories. Like even Vadi Vidya had some wild takes, but it just ended up being like a quest the quest of Gale and just like how his quest like completely consumed him and in order for him to complete his quest he had to become evil and the reason why we had to fight him is because he consumed all of the dark soul from the furtive pygmy and so the dark soul became part of him and that's why when we fight him in the phase two he coughs up blood and he's like what is this and he's like is this He's like, is this the blood of the Dark Soul? And then he knows that we must kill him so we can get the pigment of the Dark Soul to give to his lady for the painting. So crazy, amazing end. I think that's a good place to leave it. So the next episode will be the finale for our Dark Souls 3 easy guide. I hope you've been having an amazing time and I'll see you in the final episode. Cheers. <laughs>